The problem is now like this side looks cute, but the other side just looks kind of empty. And I don't know how to fix that. I don't know. potato right now in the huggle uh bringing it back but i have dream about the boy next door bookmarks here um so if when you order a signed copy i include these bookmarks and the character art and some fun other goodies but i'm also feeling more stuffy today than i was yesterday which is a bit of a bummer so just, this is kind of oh i hope they work i always get so nervous hmm so for some reason, the front is a little bit blurrier than the back. Front. Back. Her face is a little bit more in focus on the back, but not in a bad way. I mean, not in a way that's anything bad, but these are the bookmarks. Fun short clip. I have these scan me little icons, so people can take their phone, scan it, and then Actually, what does this do? I should like make up something fun because the people, only people who are gonna be able to scan the bookmark are people who have purchased the book. But right now it's linking to the Amazon page, so that doesn't really make sense. Unless they use the link to review the book that way. I don't know, let me guys, let me know in the comments, you guys. What do you think I should have this scan barcode link to? What would be the like most ideal way? What would it link to? The playlist? My website? Why did I say that weird? My website? Now I'll have to show my mom. <laughs> so, lighting's terrible. I have my fan in my window, so it's probably loud, so I'm gonna keep this short. I'm going to read, um, still on chapter two. Haven't even started chapter two. Um, haven't read in a week. So, I'm gonna read, and I'm also turning into a person where I'm gonna highlight my favorite lines in the book. I feel like that might get me back into reading the excitement of kind of like searching for lines that I enjoy and then highlighting them. I think I might like that. So, we're gonna try it. Let's get reading. In my comfy blankets, I got a new color. They're green now. short oh my gosh nobody laugh how i look right now it's freezing so i had a giveaway about two weeks ago now and then a week ago i announced the winner and then i was waiting for one thing to come into the mail and it finally came in the mail so i can package it up and send it out um but i had a giveaway on instagram in case you guys missed it of all of the character art bookmarks goodies that i have uh, um in stock and then a copy of Teaching the Teacher's Pet, which is inside. Of course it is. And then this sign, it says, just waiting for my meet cute. Um, it's I got this little stand, you know, you can, you know, or it can be hung. So cute. I'm out of breath because I ran out here thinking like if I ran, maybe I would like be warmer. Yeah, where's that logic? I'm so excited. I haven't done a giveaway in a while. And uh, I'm just really excited to send this out and have more in the future. I do have actually something... I've had it for a while that I wanted to give it away, but I just haven't done it yet. Hopefully this fits. Will you fit? Will you fit? 
Yeah. Yeah, close enough. I forgot I bought all this for Dream of the Boy Next Door. Okay, so we need to dress this. My tissue paper. That's a lot. Some of these pink balls. Maybe some of these blue ones too. Hello. Oh, we're gonna just deal with the redness. I think it's just because of how they're capturing the whiteness of the lights behind me. Set on my face, which now is just gonna look a little red. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap. It's late, it's like 7.30. Actually, I probably woke up like a half hour ago. I think I woke up at seven. Now I will most likely be up pretty late due to the fact that I napped really late. I guess I didn't really realize what time it was when I laid down. I have finally made it out of my client work like every single day grind. I have one day off until I have to do uh, the next one. So I have tomorrow completely off and then I will be working on the next one on Thursday. I haven't really written in the past few days, mostly just because I have been doing so much client work. But I actually wrote a little bit yesterday. My cousin and I had like a Halloween, um, the movies. The latest three movies, we watched all of those yesterday. So we had a little Halloween, Halloween movie marathon. While we were watching the one, one and two, because we hadn't seen those already, I was writing a little bit. Uh, we also saw Smile. We saw that new Smile movie. It was interesting. <laughs> If you, if you guys like scary movies, let me know down below. I almost said hairy movies because I was thinking horror and then scary, but so we just need scary. <laughs> if you guys like scary movies, let me know down below. My mom's rewatching Hunger Games and she's just like, what does it mean when they do the scout sign? I don't know what the official is. Uh, th is do the three fingers mean anything? I can't remember. Fudge. Am I going to have to look this up? It doesn't mean just like they're praying for you or something. Three fingers represented solidarity in a dystopian world where the rebels fought for the freedom against the all-powerful tyrant. In the first movie, that's what it meant. I thought it meant just like, we're praying for you, buddy. <laughs> I mean, I understand like afterwards, that's what that meant. Like, uh, in movie two, that's what that meant. Because like people got arrested for doing that. I thought in movie one, it meant something different. <sighs> As the series progresses, it transforms into a powerful system, symbol of resistance. Yeah, okay, so what does it mean initially, friends? This is like a quick recap on the series. I just want to know about the fingers. The three finger salute, or the TFS. Okay, why well, do we got a, 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 a give it an acronym? It's a two part hand gesture. I know what it mean is. What does it mean? It's ex oh my gosh. It means thanks, it means admiration, and it means goodbye to someone you love in before. But then it transforms into the... Yeah, okay, so kind of like I'm praying for you. Sort of. <laughs> Hang on, now I gotta go tell her. Oh, there's a pop can bottle back there. Just, just ignore it, okay? There's really no way to make these shorts look flattering on me as well, but I have shorts on. All right, uh, I have a box. Can't really see it. We are gonna open it. I'm gonna attempt to do like a cool TikTok as well. Oh, the battery. Actually, this was probably better than lighting. I'm trying to get out of frame in the closet, but huh, we have a baby gate on the stairs for our dogs, so. It's not really aesthetic. Okay, as I'm trying to do TikTok, because I've seen Katie and Catherine do TikToks like this, and I don't usually post <laughs> authory content like that, but oh, I feel like I do not look cute enough to be making a TikTok right now. Uh, my hair was cute, and then I slapped on it. And now I can't tell if it looks cute or a little crazy. TikTok, where I do like those like, you know, I don't know. Okay, so we have our first clip filmed. Oh, okay. Why did I think to do a TikTok? I don't know why I'm taking all this paper out. I don't need to, but. Perfect. Chapter headers look beautiful. 
Oh. Okay, so we're gonna put. I'm gonna angle the camera down a little bit. Oh, I forgot to show it. Did I show it to you? I showed it to the camera. But so during at the wedding store, you know, the cute paperback. It ended up being four ten three eighty seven for the um you know print book. So the pa the paperback with the epilogue and the bonus chapter, and then um, I think it's four ten total with the back matter and front matter. So yes, sir or ma'am, people. We have arcs. And then signed copies. I think I might be sold out. I think I ordered 18. I think I sold 18. Um, but if I have any left, I will let you guys know. So check out the comments. Or check out... I don't know. I also have to buy labels. <sighs> I didn't buy labels. Like new labels for my label printer. I do need those. Actually, you know what, instead of, I was going to like unload them one by one, but instead of doing that, I'm definitely going to just put them in a stack and call it a day, like with the TikTok, because that's going to be a lot of stopping and starting. However, you, <sighs> this is so much effort, can see the book stacking in a time lapse. Oh. Okay, can someone explain to me how to fix this issue with candles? Like, the flame, the wick is barely lighting. Like, there's only, like, a teeny little bit that's lit. And, like, my one candle thing keeps going out. So, like, what is going on? Like, I mean, I feel like my candles normally do that with Bath & Body Work candles. Um, I didn't really notice it before i mean I, I noticed it but like i didn't like care much so much about it but this it just keeps going out i saw on like a video on youtube where you can like take a paper towel and absorb it like with the wax because maybe there's just too much wax and it's not burning i don't know like i don't i don't get it and you can't really tell we're gonna try the paper towel method not sure it'll work but i'm gonna blow the flames out first don't worry I think you could soak up a little bit more, so I'm not getting my paper towel. I don't know if this is soaking it up so much as just getting the outer layer wet of the paper towel. Ooh. Okay, so we've reached the end. I mean, I can definitely see that there's... It's making a weird sound. Yeah, it's making a weird sound. Let's put our face closer to it. It's just fire. <laughs> I mean, it worked. So that makes sense. But it also doesn't make sense. Why would that be the issue? Like, why would the too much wax be the issue? I mean, like, my Target candles never do that. So, like, why would Bath & Body Works, which is a huge candle company, do that? Is Bath & Body Works technically a candle company? I don't think so. Okay, so I'm writing right now. Um, as we're on my phone. I'm also home alone. I hate being home alone. I don't know if anybody else, like, I mean, this is kind of silly because I'm a grown adult who hates being home alone. I don't know if it's just because I watch so many scary movies, probably, to be honest, but I feel like I'm hyper aware of, like, every small sound and I just hate it. I hate it so much. I have my dog, um, Giselle. Uh, I have to, like, flip right there. See, she's right there. So Giselle has like epic hearing. So when she lifts her head, I take my headphones out and I'm like, what did you hear? What did you hear? But it's like freaking me out because she'll lift her head for no reason. And then I'm just like, oh, I hate it. We also just crossed 20,000 in book four. 20,000 words in book four. Heck yeah. I feel like right now I'm kind of slowing down in like the excitement of, we got past the inciting incident. And so I think kind of like trying to get into the fun and games portion is slowing me down a little bit because I feel like, so my male main character, the male love interest, um, he needs to like be a little bit, um, resistant of something at first. And I feel like his resistance is coming off 
kind of like it's not like swoony you know like this isn't like a swoony kind of like moment for him um he's kind of just uncomfortable and i feel like his uncomfortableness is not fun to read but i feel like i might be overthinking it as well it's not gonna last that long i feel like it just feels like it's lasting a while because it's taken me i hit ten thousand on the 7th today is the 18th so a week and a half to get to this part you know to get through this chunk so i think that's just why not that the ten thousand has been him being uncomfortable um we just crossed the inciting incident maybe like five thousand words ago but okay also it's doing it again it's driving me bonkers i think i just gotta get to the part where he like can flip his switch and then we're smooth sailing that's all i need to do i need to get there Hopefully it doesn't take too long. My editor said she'd get back to me on book three soon, like within like the next week. And I'm like, oh, which I guess makes sense because next week is the 25th through the 30th. How is October already gone, you guys? How are we already here? But if she's going to get back with me, I need to have this draft. Like, I guess I don't need to have it done. <laughs> it was dramatic. I really, really wanted to have it done though. So that's a lot of words. And not that many days. Whew. So it is 3.21. I'm just getting started with my client work for the day. I was going to go out to my shed. But then I decided to take a shower, and now if I go out to my shed, I will probably freeze with my wet hair. Um, and I don't really blow dry my hair, so I'm a little stuffy today, so I sound a little stuffy. I don't, I think we're healing fine. Yesterday, I noticed I was breathing through my nose quite a bit. Just not, no, it's, it's just one of those things that just keeps kind of going back and forth, which is strange. I have a dog here. It's in her little head. I have a dog at the foot of my bed, all covered up, so you can't even see her. But I'm thinking this will take me about four hours. Um, so let's get reading. I mean, yeah, like I said, I'm in my bed. You know, not the best place to vlog, but I don't feel like sitting at my desk right now. Maya. Okay, so it's 7.53. I sent in my client work. Um, I sent in my client work about 20 minutes ago. And I probably need to edit this video because tomorrow morning I am going somewhere and I am meeting somebody. And you guys will see that in the next vlog. Um, but it's going to be very, very fun. Anyway, I'm going to write more tonight. Um, hopefully a little bit. We got to Chem. 22,650 words last night. I didn't update you guys because I wasn't really that happy with my progress. I wanted to get further in. I need to get further in. But, uh, yeah, so that's why I didn't update you guys yesterday. Tomorrow I have the day off of client work so I can just fully dedicate it to writing. So hopefully we'll get a lot done tomorrow. So that's me. I'm going to sign off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Tap that subscribe button down below. Um, I post videos every Monday and Friday. And I will see you guys next week. Next week is release week. Next week is release week. I don't have any release week content filmed. Well, shucks. <laughs> Bye, guys.